Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's May 24th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. Most stocks across the board are down. However, in the industry, Brookfield Renewable Corps is up almost a dollar and a half since last week. As of May 24th, 2024, it's sitting at $32.24 per share. Evergy Incorporated is currently sitting at a value of $53.52 per share. Forum Energy Technologies currently sitting at $18.05 per share. Black Hill Core is currently sitting at a value of $54.69 per share, and Waste Management is currently sitting at $208.98 per share. But moving into the news, Senators Mark Warner of Virginia and Tom Tillis of North Carolina just introduced what they are calling the Renewable Natural Gas Incentive Act this past week. This new bill aims to create a $1 per gallon tax credit for renewable natural gas sold for use in transportation, including for use in vehicles, motorboats, or in aviation. The credit would apply to compressed or liquefied RNG derived from biomass. For RNG blended with fossil natural gas, the credit would be available for the renewable portion of the fuel, subject to certain conditions being met. Following its introduction, the RNG Incentive Act, or S-4389 as it's known, was referred to the Senate Committee on Finance. And up next, Verbio announced this past week that it has broken ground on a new $230 million project in South Bend, Indiana. The company, a subsidiary of German biofuel and chemical manufacturer Verbio SE, is converting a former ethanol plant into its second North American integrated biorefinery plant. The facility, which the company bought last year, will use a new production approach to make renewable natural gas and bioethanol. The city of South Bend approved the company's expansion plans. In April, Verbio hopes to make at least 85 million gallons of corn ethanol and 2.8 billion cubic feet of RNG annually. But Verbio certainly isn't the only company getting in on the action. Waste Management has also announced the opening of a new renewable natural gas plant in Louisville, Texas, right outside of Dallas. The nearly $55 million facility is expected to generate about 1.2 million metric meter BTUs of RNG, which serves the equivalent of nearly 55,000 households annually. This is Waste Management's second RNG facility in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that will provide renewable energy to North Texas at this scale, with the first facility opening in 2020 in Ferris, Texas. It is also part of Waste Management's broader plant investments in renewable energy, which are expected to be more than $1 billion from 2022 through 2026. And up next, Divert Incorporated has selected Harrison, Ohio as the location of a future integrated diversion and energy facility. In line with the company's mission to, quote, protect the value of food, end quote, Divert's new facility is expected to prevent and process wasted food and spark local economic development by bringing new jobs to Hamilton County. Ryan Began, CEO and co-founder of Divert, said, quote, For nearly 17 years, Divert has pioneered advanced technologies and sustainable infrastructure that prevent food waste. Hamilton County is an important hub for agriculture and food manufacturing, and we are eager to introduce our mission and solutions to benefit this area. Divert is grateful to have significant local support, and we are ready to get to work to make a positive environmental, economic, and social impact on this community, end quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is now a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com or call them to set up a personalized presentation at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. 
This past week, Waga Energy officially inaugurated their first Waga Box renewable natural gas production unit at the Steuben County Landfill in Bath, New York. Approximately 80 people attended the ceremony, including CEO of Waga Energy himself, Quanael Prince, and Mike German, the CEO of Corning Natural Gas. The Wagabox unit commenced operations this past March and will deliver up to 207,000 metric meter BTUs of RNG annually to the Corning Natural Gas Network. The RNG produced replaces fossil-derived fuels and is supplying the equivalent of 4,000 households annually with clean, local, and renewable energy, avoiding an estimated 13,500 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions each year. And now moving north of the border for just a few seconds, Green Impact Partners recently purchased 52 acres of land in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, which CEO Jesse Douglas claims will become home to North America's largest carbon-negative renewable natural gas project to date. The initial plant design includes 12 digestive tanks, a cogeneration building, water treatment facility, and an ethanol plant, plus truck bays, grain silos, a CO2 capture building, and a natural gas pipeline. It is estimated that 800 people will be needed throughout the 24 months of construction, and 100 direct and indirect jobs will be created to maintain operations. Douglas said, quote, the culmination of nearly two years of technical and environmental review, along with extensive consultation and engagement with local stakeholders and indigenous communities, is set to leave an indelible mark on the province's energy landscape, end quote. And as the scramble to lay claim to America's pockets of biogas continues, Germany's largest biogas producer, Invitec Biogas, has successfully completed two more biogas projects in the United States, in Cassville, New York, and Ellington, Connecticut. The two plants were planned, designed, and built by the company's subsidiary, Invitec Biogas USA, over the past 18 months. Timothy Logan, president of Invitec Biogas Construction, LLC, said, quote, The plants are almost identical in design, and this modular approach is key to reduce cost and construction timelines. These plants are a significant milestone for Invitec in the U.S., and we look forward to performance testing in Auburn and Lowville, New York, in the coming weeks, end quote. The two plants combined currently produce 285 standard cubic feet per minute, of renewable natural gas. And lastly, the Yokogawa Corporation of America and Australian clean tech company Synergen Met Limited announced a new partnership this week regarding the remediation of PFAS chemicals, also known as forever chemicals, in North America. This relationship will leverage the unique strengths of both companies. Synergen Met will provide its foam fractionation and thermal plasma technologies that capture, concentrate, and totally destroy PFAS, while Yokogawa will provide sensor control and remote access technology to enable remote autonomous operations along with local manufacturing. A spokesperson for Synergen Met said, quote, Synergen Met is delighted to be collaborating with Yokogawa to roll out our PFAS technology in North America. The delivery of our powerful PFAS concentration and destruction technology requires best-in-class automation and project delivery capability. Yokogawa delivers this as a core competence, and we look forward to building our critical treatment solutions together. End quote. And that has been your May 24th, 2024 Recyclist News Roundup, now a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.